This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. Marietta City Schools are loosening COVID safety measures in its classrooms starting next week. The amount of space between students will be reduced to at least three feet apart, and teachers will have the option to remove shields from desks. The Cobb County Public Library teaming up with Atlanta Community Food Bank to distribute 20 pound packages of food to help families still financially struggling from the pandemic. The packages include produce and shelf stable items. Norfolk Southern moving forward with plans to remove a Confederate statue in the heart of Midtown. The statue of Samuel Spencer sits outside the company headquarters, but it is owned by the city of Atlanta. The Atlanta City Council voted Monday to allow the statue to be removed. Spencer was the president of the railroad company, but also served in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. Regal Cinemas will begin reopening its theaters in Georgia this weekend. They'll reopen Regal at the Mall of Georgia on Friday. Then in two weeks, nine other Metro Atlanta Regal locations will reopen. Regal, you may recall, closed all theaters six months ago when the coronavirus outbreak began to worsen. Oh, it's going to get cold tonight. Some of the coldest temperatures we've seen in quite a while, down to 38 in Atlanta. Frost is possible. So if you already planted that beautiful spring garden, you want to cover it up or bring those plants inside if you can. Where you really need to protect your plants is in northeast Georgia. A freeze warning is in effect from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. Includes Fannin, Union, Gilmer, Towns, Raven counties. A freeze warning means that freezing temperatures are expected. Good news is tomorrow will not be nearly as windy and it will be warmer. We will be in the mid 60s with lots of sunshine. All eyes on Saturday. That's when rain heavy rain moves in the forecast could see some storms as well. Some could be strong. Thankfully, that rain is one day only with dry weather on Sunday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.